If we'll make those, I guess. <laughs> I wanted to make corn, but apparently we don't have those seeds, so we've got those. Which is what we're going to make. Beautiful day, though. Can't, not wrong there. Not wrong there at all. Also, no one's working there. Which means we need to get rid of a builder and put someone there. And we know what. We'll get rid of... Hmm, we need that hunter. Oh, shit. No, don't want to do that. Hmm. What do we not need? Woodcutters? Not really something we need at the moment. You know what? It's fine just to have one person doing that for the time being. This house is actually here for the eventual residents. Uh, oh, no. Reclaim. What am I doing? Uh, for the eventual residents of this area. At the moment, it doesn't really need to do anything. Also, what's going on here? The production limit for this resource has been reached. Really? Okay, I'm going to buff it up then. Wait, fuel limit? Controls the amount of stored fuel once... Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm not really too sure why it's limited. Like, I guess maybe we need more stockpile space or something like that. And at the moment, the stockpile space is, you know, it's fairly sort of meh. You know, nothing really bad happened to it so far. It's been the same general percentage. Do we really want to improve it by a certain amount, which is what I'm trying to find right now? I mean, we could. It's definitely a good idea just to do it in case. Oh, that's a bit awkward. We can't actually do it right there. We can't expand it in any way by the looks of it. Nope. Okay, well, that sucks. But oh well, we can, we can ignore that for now. Look at this. This is fantastic. Let's just pause the game right now and just embrace this lovely little village that we've created right here. Isn't this just beautiful? This is heaven right now. I'm not looking forward to the eventual death. Also, it looks like all the venison in the area has actually been vanquished. Oh, wait, no, it hasn't. He's just not doing anything. I guess the new season has um, just passed. No, this current season is 290 fish. What the fuck is the hunter doing? There is literally a deer eating from our fucking road. <clears throat> My voice is not clear enough. Ah, a fucking road Roy. Road Roy is like road rage. Who the fuck works here? The F works here. Can we? I know there's a way can f we can find out. Do we, we just click this? Uh, Bernanda. Bernandos. <laughs> some people may get that. Some may not. Thank you, Paddy O'Shea. Yeah, we don't need any more houses, but I want to put more houses in because we need to expand. Let's just uh, continue onwards right here. Food consumption right now is fairly minimal, actually. What's the fishing doing? The fishing is okay. The huntsman, like we said before, has not really gathered anything. And it looks like tools and coats are actually running out, so we do need to make a blacksmith's in order to make some uh, tools and that lot very quickly. It's a very fast-paced game, not exactly what I was anticipating. Oh, this is actually a... It's not a great fit. You know what? We put that right there. Or do we put it here instead? I think we put it there. What the? Oh, right. No. Obviously, we can't. Okay. We can do it like this. And then this area can sort of be something else. It won't work like that. It simply won't. Yeah, we'll do that instead. There we are. And uh, we'll do this. So there we go. That's happened. That was a thing. It's a bit of a waste of space now that I look at it. But we could definitely work around it in the future. This being created very, very quickly. We need more iron and stuff like that. So we'll need to get some skilled laborers to go and mine some of the iron in this area. Oh, wrong button. There we are. So you guys want to go ahead and do that. We'll remove one of the builders in order to make more laborers. And uh, right now, what's the wood looking like? What have you currently gathered? Lots of stone, lots of iron, but no wood. <laughs> Kind of what I want you to mind there, buddy. Just saying. I just got a cold chill. And look, a nice family's living there. That's really nice. Is that the same worker? Uh, Tarek. And he is... Yeah, there he is. He's got a nice family. Isn't that nice? I don't know what the numbers mean. I guess age? Yeah, that's definitely the age. So it's actually just him and a child. Bit weird. But that's... We need to uh, keep an eye on that house. Uh, it's becoming a donut is working as a labor. Another labor. Always nice. Show them as you want. Labor, labor, labor. Nothing bad has happened by the looks of it. Oh, nope, nope. Food's running out. Stuff like that. No one's died. It, if they died, it would have came up in red. And it looks like the force limit has once again been... You know what? We don't need any of the firewood at the moment. So you can stay ahead. Stay ahead. Even 
sure you can stay there if you want and be a laborer and gather as much iron as you can for this blacksmith for in order for him to make more tools and yes here we go you can actually be a blacksmith now instead that's even better and we just want you to make some iron tools how much coal do we have we can make some steel tools if we really wanted to that's not coal that is coal so we need a mine to actually make some coal that is fine 50 tools it's a good limit for tools at the moment we will definitely need to improve it once the Excuse me, it looks like the stockpile is actually running out. We need more foresters. There we are. We'll take a second forester because we will need them to actually mine this uh, general wooded area. Oh, crap, and what's this? Oh, no, food! Food's running out. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, okay, food's running low, unfortunately. Actually, no, it's just this house. Oh, is this a problem? Is this like one of those things that they just don't eat? This seems to be a consistent problem of every single isometric survival build city game that has a, a built-in food mechanic. Is this available at this workplace this location? Yeah, we're just going to stop working there right now. Just keep that off. Yes. Oh, crap. We did. We missed harvest. We we missed the harvest. What, what did we get? 251 squash. Nice. Not bad, ladies and gentlemen. Let's turn down the farmers by one because it's a very small field. There we are. And enable disable work, harvest, and uh, there you go. And I guess now they're just waiting till next spring or something like that for it to uh, spring open. <laughs> How many tools? Yeah, we're creating tools. So they... Oh, look at that. She's going absolutely mental with that anvil and furnace. She's hungry as well. And her health is running low. Right, food's once again a consistent problem. We're going to need more fish. <laughs> That's my fullback right there. We need more fish, guys. Guys. <clears throat> These guys are pigs. They just eat and they eat and they eat. And we gotta tell the pig to stop eating. A oh, little more venison is being gathered this week. Yeah, week. Yeah. See, look, there's so much game right now, and you guys are not taking advantage of that. Oh crap. Okay, pause again. Food's becoming uh, quite the problem. So we got a food problem right here. Yep, your health is running low. That's actually the same person. Okay, so you're just not eating food for some reason. But everyone else is. That iron? Holy shit. How the hell did you smelt it to be so perfectly shaped in the size of... You know, the chassis of the uh, giant robot camels from Star Wars. The Atats, I think they're called. AT-80s. Yes! <laughs> that... That's what I call them, giant robot camels. So you can take that in if you really want to. It's not original. Yeah. What's this post really for? Like, why? Where's the wood? I can't see it. It's because you're too fucking high, you idiot. God, look down. Use your neck. That's what it's there for. Mm -mm. I did like a weird flick there. You know, like some of those. Hmm. I don't actually know who does that. Oh, like nurses. Like, you know. <sighs> I can't remember what they're referred as. Can't remember. <laughs> Help me. Right, food is becoming... Well, it's a sign, really. One person needs food, which means eventually loads of people are going to, going to need food. The nurse stereotype. That's the word I was thinking of. Like, mm -mm, you're going to die. <laughs> okay, that's not exactly what I was thinking of. It was exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> There's no house there. So what do we need to do? We could make a pasture or an orchard. Uh, more fishing is probably what's required, to be honest. So that's what we're going to do. There we are. And shall we put it here? Or shall we put it right next to it? Or slightly further away? Lots of things we can really do. I think here's actually perfect. Because it's very close. It's in the same general location. It's not really taking up any space that could otherwise be used. That's fine. And there we go. And now you guys can start building again. And then we can use... We'll use two of the fishing spots for that area. Maybe four, I'm not too sure. We do have four laborers. That's why I'm sort of questioning it. Maybe we can get rid of one of the builders. I'm not really too sure. Only two builders are really currently being used. And it looks like we're going to actually need someone to work here for now. Because it is winter and the firewood's going to be used very quickly. It's all about micromanagement or macro management. I think it's macro. I think micro is the one where you're like... You know, like in StarCraft, you've got to move your units out of the storms. And stuff like that. I watch StarCraft Esports and still my terminology is completely screwed up. Only when I'm watching it is when it's not. It's like, get out of the Nidus! I think that's what I'm thinking. Well, don't get Nidus, actually. You can't get out of Nidus. No. I'm not thinking 
straight. Because that's the worm. That's the worm. What's the green shit that you get from... <laughs> Infestors, there you go. I found that out. Oh, man. I've watched StarCraft for two fucking years. StarCraft 2, that is. I think I've been watching it for that long anyway. I'm sure I have. It's been a long time anyway. What's this? And the blacksmith has died of starvation. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it begins. <laughs> More fishermen, plus. There we are. Get to work. We need more fishermen. We need loads of different food types. Looks like you're not collecting enough venison. Please collect more venison. And we need to make more squash. Uh, we're going to get rid of the farmers for now, I suppose. Because we do not need you guys to actually do anything. And we're just going to make you fishermen. Go nuts. And there you are. Hopefully you guys can actually collect a decent amount of fish. Because people are getting hungry, apparently. And I think one person has definitely died. They've replaced the blacksmith, which is pretty cool, I suppose. Are uh, we running out of iron? We are not. Food, though. Something we need. What we need to do, probably, is make another stockpile. Where is food stored? I think it's stored in here. I'm not too sure. We're about to find out. Oh, I think there was food for a second there, but it just got grabbed. If it is, we may need to move the barn closer to the actual areas where food is gathered. And the reserve for logs is low. That is unfortunate, which means we are going to have to get rid of all of our builders and tell them to go over here. If I can actually find a bloody way to get over here. There we are. And uh, just mine up this zone. And mine up this zone. Hmm. Let's actually not do that. And let's tell them to gather the wood instead. Yeah. There we are. Okay, beautiful. And it looks like the town's actually getting significantly more hungry. Now two people, three people are hungry, four people are hungry. This is not good. Firewood is low, normal wood is low. What the hell's all this crap lying around? There's just loads of wood. There's loads of firewood, actually, I suppose. Yeah, it's firewood. Hmm, makes sense. We're actually going to die because these guys are hungry fucks. <laughs> they just don't stop eating. Stop it. I mean, this bloody gathering place is not gathering. Oh, no, it's still gathering. It's just not really producing an amazing amount. Not enough, anyway, to really sustain a decent amount. It looks like more logs have actually come along. But I'm not too sure. Actually, no, that is still firewood. So, we got a lot of firewood, I suppose. And it looks like more people have died. Three more people, to be exact. This might be a good thing, actually, because, you know, less people to really eat. And at the moment, these guys require quite a ridiculous amount of food. I'm not too sure how fast the day-night cycle is in this game. But since it goes from summer to winter very, very quickly, I have to imagine it is very, very fast. I'm speaking like every five seconds a day goes by kind of thing. If you know what I mean, you probably should know what I mean. It's not an innuendo. It's straight up. And yep, more people want to eat. They, for a second, were not hungry and then all of a sudden were hungry. I think this is a bug. <laughs> like... <laughs> It, it probably isn't a bug. It's just the guy, these guys eat absurdly too much. I just don't feel like I can really gather enough food. I guess fish is just a really bad way of really getting food in general. It looks three more people have died. That is unfortunate. We've gone down to the usual amount of people. I mean, we start off like 800 and something odd food and lost it instantly. <laughs> I think this is GG, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think this is GG. Oh well. It's still going to be part of the Let's Play series. I'm just going to, you know, start again. Call it episode 4 or whatever. I'm not just sure how long this will be lasting. However. Oh, wait a minute. Food's going up quite significantly right now. The health has gone down a little bit. Someone else has died. Food just went up to like 100 out of nowhere. That was random. And then just all vanished. I don't. I don't know what a suitable number is for these people. They just scoff it down. Uh, we need to get rid of two fishermen and make two of these guys instead. Start working. It is spring. So people to start working on this crop field is probably going to be a much better idea. Yes. It probably will be. Look at this town, however. It looks very nice. Look at these two people have died and more people have died. I'm probably just going to call this quits, ladies and gentlemen. And then come back to you next episode with another starting zone. 
because we got completely piled drive this episode. These bunch of episodes, probably going to be three, four episodes or something like that. <clears throat> Looks nice though. I don't know. Are we going to lose? I should probably just keep going until we actually fail. Like we might be able to come back from this. You never know. I'm just finding it very unlikely and a lot of people have died. <laughs> that's, that's the case, is it? Okay, at the moment we are very slowly dying and I don't think there's really any way to come back for it because I think when they're hungry they don't do anything, which is a pr which is a problem. I don't think they do and you, you know, if all the people that make food are hungry then what the fuck. Eat some of the fish! Don't eat it raw though, cook it. Okay, you're gonna get diseases if you eat that thing raw. You could eat it raw if you really, really wanted to. It's just not really recommended. Also, it takes a little while to digest. And the digestion, digestion would not fully commence itself, of which you would then die of diarrhea. One more person has died, and apparently we are low on logs. This is spiraling out of control very, very quickly. This logger is not actually freaking doing anything. Nope, 17 logs. 27 logs. You are useless. Don't plant. Cut. You're not cutting anything. Also, I don't want you to mine any stone or iron or anything like that. I don't know why you are. That is awful. I think it just needs more people. That's probably what's happening there, really. <clears throat> At the moment, though, that is not going to become the case. I think this is definitely it, though, ladies and gentlemen. I don't see us coming back from this anytime soon. Look at this nice town, though. I can't imagine the nice, cool things you can really make with this uh, nice little game right here. I'm going to be playing a shit ton of this, hopefully. Uh, I say hopefully, I, I'm not really hoping to the almighty himself that he will allow such justification of a game that can so horribly destroy you one second later. We've got loads of lumber out of nowhere. I really do wish the timers here were a lot more consistent. They seem to update quite rapidly in awkward succession of one another. So out of nowhere, food is eaten. Uh, I mean, food is stored and then out of nowhere it's eaten. You just, you can't keep a good amount of counter for how much food they eat. And look at this. We have more food consumption than ever before, but they just keep getting hungry. I don't understand this. We had more food consumption, like we had less people. I mean, more people at the start. Being 12 adults and like 9 kids or something like that. And we only had a fishing dock. And we somehow sustained that sort of living experience. And yet right now we have significantly less people. And by significantly, I mean there's, lo there's no kids. Um, well, well, now another kid has just died of starvation. There are four kids instead of nine, and there's only one less adult. But still, that I think that counts for something. All of a sudden, these guys are just getting extremely hungry, and I don't think they're doing their work as efficiently as they should be. Which is the unfortunate situation of which these games seem to go into, like Timber and... No, not Timber and Stone. I think Timber and Stone did that. Oh, no, no, no I think there definitely was a bug way back. Uh, the same with Towns. A game which had a massive food bug during the alpha. Uh, unfortunately, that game did not end up going to expectations. And I think the same happened with Stronghold. The newer ones, obviously, because the old one was extremely well done. In my opinion, anyway, I very much enjoyed that game. And I'm enjoying this game just because of how good it looks. And just because of how smart it is. But unfortunately, the food thing might actually be a bug. And not sort of my error. But then again, that's sort of the first thing they usually say when they're bad at games. If I am bad at games, feel free to tell me in the comment section. <laughs> feel free, go nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching the Game of Peons, Game of Peon. I need to really change that name, but if I do, then Google wants me to have a second name. Screw you. Don't, I, won't, I don't want to screw you, but maybe. I might, you never know. I think someone else just died. Bye. See you next time. Next episode, which will be coming up after this one, obviously. After. Bye. <laughs>